I was so happy to hear the similar um, collaboration model between the NLN and a library consortium from the, uh, the African countries. So uh, we have to name it as NLM model and extend it to the, the different continent. But anyway, uh, I'd like to um, uh, introduce our uh, current update in uh, 2017. Uh, so uh, our uh, repository community names JP Core. Um, uh, without getting any any permission from the the core, <laughs> we uh, we are using the core name. But the current number of the institution is uh, more than uh, 500 and, and exactly 43. And uh, the last year, our fiscal year ending in March, and uh, uh, last year we succeeded to send a young librarian to these kind of international uh, conference and the meetings. So uh, they had a good experience based on the, the income to the membership fee to this JP Core. And um, uh, we've just finished our general assembly in March. And that was the second general assembly. And uh, as I said before, uh, we have this kind of uh, working group and the task force. And, and I'd like to introduce a couple of it. Um, and the one is a training and working group, um, which has a uh, uh, the purpose to provide a two days training session. Uh, uh, it is five times times a year, so um, so they are doing like this way. And maybe um, the once they learn through this training course, the next year the young librarian becomes a lecturer or trainer. So that's going to be a very good cycle uh, to learn each other. And um, in case of the uh, research data task force, uh, their intention the last year was uh, to build up a uh, research data management training training course. At the beginning, they summarized every single existing uh, major training course like this in detail, and a, they compiled it and defined their syllabus and um, made it their own uh, their own uh, training course. And um, we uh, uh, we provide it um, from the uh, Japanese MOOC site. And um, the finally, um, please look at here. The compilation rate, the MOOC, is uh, relatively low in generally, but a, we got um, around 25% compilation rate. So this is because of the librarians. And um, um, unfortunately, um, we have more than, although we have more than 800 higher education in Japan, but still uh, only 22 institutions has a OA policy. So this task force is making a guideline and then and trying to um, advocate a, uh, upcoming uh, universities to have their own OA policy. And, um, uh, changing uh, the topic to the uh, the open science infrastructure um, um, by NAI, NAI, we are now um, uh, constructing, developing these kind of uh, research data infrastructure for uh, for open science to the uh, Japanese higher education, which is composed by the three uh, different component. And, uh, and this is a research data management system, and uh, this is a repository part, and uh, this is a discovery service, and. Um, in case of our uh, discovery service named SINI, SINI has a different family like uh, article, book, dissertation, and beside that, uh, we have a uh, uh, grant uh, database, a public funded database, also operated by the NII. But uh, so far, the each service was so separated, even in the back end. So, and new SINI is trying to merge. Uh, the content behind behind the discovery service in, uh, into the single um, knowledge base and uh, trying to link each other and uh, would like to provide a new experience for, for to able to um, the show the research activity uh, as a such result and uh, in case of the depository system uh, um, as I said before uh, so uh, we are now uh, working with uh, Invenio and uh, trying to build up uh, our new repository system on top of the Invenio and one of the flavor of the Invenio. And uh, um, this um, um, research data management system is our new service. And we decided to employ a open science framework, uh, which is um, developed by the Center for Open Science in the United States. And um, uh, we, um, 
we operate and uh, add service on top of the open science fr framework and operate the application layer and asking to the university to prepare their own institutional storage and connect it to our uh, open science framework named Gakunin RDM and provide it to the, the university members. And uh, in addition to the original functionalities, uh, we are now uh, developing these kind of uh, additional function or modules to be able to say this is the research data management system. Not, not just seems like a Dropbox or a box. So uh, we want to provide this as a, a research data management system. And the most of the functionality is for the institutional management. So this is good for the IT center in the university. And uh, for, for instance, for the, for the viewpoint of the, the researchers, now, since we have um, this uh, research data management system, the repository system uh, is now hidden for the, uh, from, from the researcher. So this, uh, this is uh, one of the functionality or one of the blocks uh, shown in this research data management system. And then um, this will be used there in their daily activity um, of their research life cycle. So once they are ready to open their content in public, they just drag and drop to the, the repository block. So it's very easy to open the contents for, for the researchers and trying to, do, trying to build up a such kind of collaboration between the two different services. And then uh, we are trying to uh, support these kind of uh, research life, life cycle or data life cycle by using the three different components. And um, and um, now we've finished a the main development in this uh, the last year, and then moving forward to the feasibility study and the pilot operation, and possibly the production operation is in 2020. And the last part is the core age year. Uh, we succeeded to have a uh, second core age year meeting in 2017 in Kathmandu, Nepal. The total participant was um, in two days is about um, 80. And um, um, the participant from the Nepal, majority of the participants was Nepal and Singapore, South Korea, Bangladesh, Japan, and Canada is from the Catherine. Thank you so much. And also, big thanks to Irina for your uh, generous support to the and uh, our meeting in Kathmandu. Without having that, we cannot operate the meeting. So can you imagine, um, j just before the, one month before the conference, we cannot define the venue. I mean, the, the <laughs> so and the time course is totally different from our experience before, but it is also the fun uh, to work with a South Asian, Asian countries. And um, uh, they, they learned a lot each other uh, from the viewpoint of the international participant. Um, they also um, exchanged each other. And as, especially for the local participant, without having this kind of opportunity, they have no chance to talk with a international people. So um, they are so um, excited and had a good opportunity. And uh, uh, next, in, next Next is going to be Bangladesh. So we are so welcome to, if you, maybe the many of the people want, want to go to the Bangladesh. So please come to the Bangladesh, but uh, I hope we can define the venue and the conference agenda as soon as possible. So please secure your budget to go to the Bangladesh. So that's all about.